Hello children, how are you all? Today's topic is algebraic division. Yes, we'll see how to divide algebraic expression. By one expression, we'll divide another expression. The total division process is algebraic. So, without delaying, let's start. First example, what I want to show you that, say we have to divide n square minus 2n, better I write it, n square minus 2n, n square minus 2n plus 1, I have to divide by n minus 1. Okay. This whole algebraic expression will be divided by this. Now see what are the process, what are the steps of division. Say it properly. First of all, we have to see the first portion of both the expression. I mean we will see this and this. Okay. Then we have to think with this n, what you have to multiply to get n square. Okay. For that, what we'll do in the rough, see this is my rough, okay, here we'll do all the rough. What I have to do, I will write it first, n square by n, okay, n square by n. So if I cut n square by n, what I'll get? I'll get n, okay, n square by n, that is n. So what I'm getting? n. So I will write here n, okay. Now by this n, you have to multiply these two. By this n, you have to multiply these two. So n into n, n square, n into minus 1, that is minus 1 n. Understood? Now you have to change the sign. Like this is plus, no sign is there. No sign is there means positive sign is there. So instead of positive sign, you have to write here minus. Okay. This is minus sign, you have to write plus. Understood? Just you have to change the sign. Plus was there, you have to write minus. Minus was there, you have to write plus. Got it? Now, plus n square minus n square. You have to cancel. Yes, always it will be cancelled. Okay. Now, minus 2n plus 1n. Yes, we will not see this sign. This sign will not see. This is cancelled. We made it plus. So, minus 2n plus 1n. Minus 2n plus 1n. Will be? Yes, minus 1n. So, we'll write minus 1n plus 1. Okay, this 1 will come down. Try to understand this step. Fine. Now, again we'll do like this one. Again in rough, minus 1n will write by n. So, nn cancelled, minus 1 is left. We'll write minus 1. Understood? Now, by minus 1, you have to multiply both this. Both this you have to multiply. By minus 1, you multiply n. You will get minus 1n. Minus 1n. Okay. Next. By minus 1, you multiply minus 1. Minus minus plus 1 1 is a 1. Okay. So, again you change the sign. The way you have changed it here. Change the sign. So, minus will be plus and plus will be minus. And these signs are cancelled now. Okay. See. Minus 1n plus 1n. Cancelled. Plus 1 minus 1 again cancelled. So this is 0. So what is my quotient? My quotient is n minus 1. And what is my remainder? Remainder is 0. Understood? We will see another example so that we can understand the whole process very clearly. I will show you another sum. This is the next sum. Here also we are going to use the same steps which we have seen in the previous sum. Let us solve it. First of all, what you have to do, as we have seen in the previous sum, first this, by this we have to write. First term by first term. Okay. And that will be done in the rough. So, what is the first term? A square by 2a. By 2a. Got it? Equal to, instead of 8a square, I can write 8aa. A. Because a square is there. A square, that is a a by 2a. Okay. So, 2, 4 is the 8. A, a cancel. So, what is left? 4a. 4a is left. So, we will write 4a here. Okay. Now, by this 4a, we will multiply both of this. This is the rule. By using 4a, we will multiply both of this. So, by using 4a, if you multiply 2a, so we will get 8a square. Okay. By 4a, if you multiply minus 5, you will get minus 4 5 is the 20a. 20a. Understood? Now, the rule is to change the sign. We have seen in the previous sum. This is plus, we'll write here minus. And this is minus, we'll write here plus. So now this is my sign. 
Okay, minus 8 is square plus 8 is square. Cancel it. Plus 4a plus 20a. That is 24a minus 60. The 60 will come down. Okay, the 60 is coming down. Fine. Now, again the same process will be applied. First term by first term. First term by first term. That is 24a by 2a. Understood? 24a by 2a. A, A cancelled. 2, 12 is 12 I am getting. So, I will write here plus 12. Okay. Now, by this 12, again you will multiply the whole. By this 12, you have to multiply the whole. That is 12 to the 24a. 24a by 12 into 5. Minus 60. Again, change the sign. Plus will be minus. Minus will be plus. This is cancelled. Minus 60 plus 60. Again cancelled. So 0. So what is the quotient? Quotient is this one. What is the remainder? 0. Understood? I will show you another sum. Next sum. In this sum, this the whole expression is divided by 3x minus 2. Okay. The same process will be applied. Don't worry. The process which you have seen in previous sums, the same process we are going to apply. First term by first term. Okay. First term by first term, but that also will be written in the rough. Okay, so this is my the section of rough. So first term by first term, that is 6x cube by 3x. 3x. Okay. So here, see, 6x cube. X cube means x x x. Okay, x cube means x x x by 3x. 3x. So x x cancelled. 3 2 z. So 2x square. 2x square. I'm getting double x is there. 2x square. So, I will write 2x square. Understood? Now, by this 2x square, you have to multiply this 2. You know in the previous sum, we already we discussed. So, by 2x square, let us multiply this 2. So, what I am getting? 6. 2, 3 is the 6. x into x square. That is x cube. Okay. x into x square. That is x cube. x cube. Now, by 2x square, minus 2. Multiply it. 2 to the 4. Minus 4x square. 4x square. Got it? Now you know. You have to change the sign. So this is plus. You have to write here minus. This is minus. Here it will be plus. Okay. You can cancel this minus. Understood? The sign will be changed. Now plus 6x cube minus 6x cube. Cancel it. Plus 5x square plus 4x square. That is plus 9x square. Okay. 9x square. Then this one will come down. Minus 21x. Understood? Now the same technique. First term by first term. That is 9x square by 3x. Okay. So 9x square, I can write 9x square. x square means xx. Okay, x square xx by 3x. xx cancelled. 3, 3 is So 3x I am getting. I am getting 3x. So I will write plus 3x. Okay. 3x. Now by this 3x, you have to multiply this 2. Okay, this 2 you have to multiply. So by 3x, if you multiply 3x, you will get 9x square. Now by 3x into 2 minus 6x. Okay. Minus 3 to the 6x. Again the sign will be changed. So it is plus. It will be minus. It is minus. It will be plus. Okay now. Plus 9x square minus 9x square. Cancelled. Minus 21x plus 6x. So minus 21 minus 21 plus 6. Which is bigger? 21 is bigger. Before 21 minus is there. So write minus. Okay. Now you have to both the signs are different. Both the signs are different. So it will be minus. You know this calculation. This is very basic calculation. Minus 21 plus 6. Okay. That is minus 15. So we are getting minus 15x. Understood? Now this 10 will come down. Plus 10. Okay. Now again first term by first term. This is first term by first term that is minus 15x by 3x okay x is cancelled 3 5 are so minus 5 is left minus 5 will write minus 5 here okay so by minus 5 you have to multiply this 2 okay so minus 5 if you multiply with 3x will get 15x so minus 15x i am getting because minus plus minus 15x after that, minus 5 and minus 2. You multiply minus 5, minus 2. That is minus minus plus 5 to the 10. So plus 10. Okay. Now minus 10 will be converted into plus. We know that. We will change the sign. And this plus will be converted into minus. So minus is converted into plus. 
and plus is converted into minus. So this will be cancelled. Plus 10, minus 10, this will be cancelled. So 0. So what is my quotient after division? What is the result? You must write the answer. Okay. What is the quotient? Quotient is the whole one. That is 2x square plus 3x minus 5. 2x square plus 3x minus 5. That is the quotient. And remainder is 0. You must declare at the end of the sum. Okay. I will show you the last sum of this video. Okay. Next sum. In this sum, again we are going to divide this portion by this portion. Okay. And the same rule will be applied like first term by first term. Where you have to write? Yes, in the rough. So, let us do it. So, this is the rough portion. So, first term by first term. That is 6x square. 6x square by 2x. Okay. So, 2, 3 is a 6. And x square will be xx. xx will be cancelled. So, x is left. I am not doing that because in the previous sums we already discussed this. That's why I am not showing it. Okay. I know that you understood how we are getting 3x. So, we will write 3x here. Now, by this 3x, we will multiply these two. Okay. Let us multiply. By 3x into 2x. That is 6x square. Now, by 3x, you multiply minus 5y. 3x then minus 5y. Multiply it. So, you will get minus 3 5 is a 15xy. Okay. Now change the sign. This plus will be minus and this minus will be plus. Got it? So plus 6x square minus 6x square. Cancelled. Minus xy plus 15xy. That is minus xy plus 15xy. What is this? Minus xy means minus 1xy. Minus 1xy. So minus 1 plus 15. Minus 1 plus 15 is plus 14. Minus 1 plus Minus 1 plus 15 is plus 14. We know that. So plus 14xy minus 35y square. Okay. Now again the first term by first term. That is 14xy by 2x. So xx cancel to 7 term. So 7y I am getting. I am getting 7y. So write plus 7y. Now by plus 7y multiply this two. Okay. So what are you are getting? 7 to the 14xy. Okay. 14xy I am getting. Then by 7y multiply 5y. 7 5 is the 35y square. Minus plus minus minus 35y square. Okay. So plus will be minus. Minus will be plus. Okay. Cancelled. So plus 14xy minus 14xy. Cancelled. 35y square plus 35y square. Cancelled. 0. So, what is the quotient? This is the quotient and remainder is 0. Understood? This four sums if you have understood, then this will help you to solve any algebraic expressions division. Okay. So, this much for today. Meet you in the next.